Hello and welcome everybody to another Microsoft 365 developer video. Today we're going to talk about this exciting new capability that we've introduced into the platform, uh, which is giving all of you app developers the ability to enable your Teams apps to now run across Microsoft 365 and especially the Microsoft 365 app itself. Now, what is the Microsoft 365 app and why should developers care? Let's talk about this and let's learn about this from uh, our very special guest today. We have Pranati here to talk to us about it. Pranati, go. Hey, um, hi, I'm Pranati. I'm a product manager for the Microsoft 365 app, and I've been working on bringing Teams apps into our product. So the Microsoft 365 app used to be called the Office app. We just recently rebranded, and it's the home for all of your productivity stuff in Microsoft. It has all of your files and tools that Microsoft 365 provides to you all in one place. And now that even includes your 3P stuff that you find right now in Teams. Wow, this is exciting stuff. So uh, Pranati, you know, we know Teams is already a fairly large developer opportunity. A lot of folks are building some really exciting either in-house applications for their own company, for their own organization. And a lot of companies are building extensions of their applications for SaaS applications or are all building net new SaaS applications already for Teams. Now, Microsoft 365 app, I know this is uh, something that you are very, very passionate about. So can you talk to us about the actual large kind of developer opportunity that's there around the Microsoft 365 app and the platform in general? Yeah, I mean, that sounds good. So because, you know, the Office app, which is now the Microsoft 365 app, has been around for so long, we actually do have a pretty big fan following. We have over 240 million monthly active users right now. And whenever we talk to IT admins about you know, their potential plans for the future and what they hope to train their employees on, we do keep hearing that Microsoft 365 app is the next big thing after Teams that they do want to train their employees on because they find value in it. So we only expect that number to keep growing. Uh, that's that's really exciting. You know, 290 million monthly active users for Teams, 240 plus million for Microsoft 365. We're, we're literally 2xing the developer reach. So I, um, as somebody who builds apps for Teams and as, as somebody who has a team that builds apps for Teams, this is an exciting thing. You know, um, I, I've heard for, uh, and we've seen internally that the, enabling this capability onto your app is actually a very the straightforward exercise and, and the team has done a really awesome job in making it easy for developers to adopt this. So uh, without further ado, uh, Pranati, can you share with us uh, what does that mean? Can you show us a little bit and, and about how, what the experience is for developers and dive deep? Yeah, absolutely. I'd be happy to show you just how simple it is. All right, let's see it. So uh, let's let's dive in, right? So here I have an app right now. It only runs in Teams, but this app is a great tool for our developers. It has a Azure DevOps integration that lists all of the work items that are assigned to you. It has a list of all of your tasks from the Planner app through an integration with the Microsoft Graph APIs. And it has a, lot, a list of all of the issues in your GitHub repo. It lets you interact with your issues just like if you were using GitHub. You can add a new issue if you want or look at more details on any of the issues that you see here. But what's great is that this app also has a large language model integration that can help you in writing your code. I want our developers to be able to use this productivity tool no matter where they're working across the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. It'll help our developers stay in the flow of their work and have access to their favorite tool right at the tips of their fingers especially when they're working within the home of Microsoft productivity, microsoft365.com. So let's look at how we can upgrade this app so it starts showing up in the Microsoft 365 app. There are two main things that I would need to do. The first is upgrading my manifest version. So those are the numbers that you see right here. And the second is upgrading my Teams JS library version. So that's the number that you see right here. Um, I can use the Teams Toolkit to assist me in both of these steps. To update the manifest, I need to search for the manifest that I want to upgrade and click on it. The Teams Toolkit will automatically upgrade my version for me. And you can see here that the manifest version number now says 1.14. 
Uh, I need to do something similar to update my team's JS version. This time I need to find the project that I want to upgrade. Uh, so let's look for it. And the team's toolkit will automatically upgrade this package for me, like you can see here. And now when I run my app in Teams, I can see the changes almost instantly. It shows me that my app works in Teams and in the Microsoft 365 app right on top. And when I add the app, I can see that my app works just like it did before the upgrade. I can see all of the same components that we were talking about. Let's also see how the app shows up in the Microsoft 365 app. So uh, to find any of my upgraded Teams apps, I need to go to the apps module like we just did. And let's see how the app shows up now. There we go. It looks just the same as it did on Teams. You can, you can see that it was so simple for you to just take the same app that you had in Teams and to have it show up here now. Wow, this is exciting. So you're, what you're telling me is I don't need to go refactor my code. I don't need to go and redevelop my app for a different hub. I can use the capability that the team's already built in to, to update ba basically two of the functions within my uh, uh, my code and, and basically make my app available to uh, nearly you know 290 million Teams users, but also 240 million plus uh, Microsoft 365 app users and make it available across the platform. This is exciting stuff. You know, this is a great opportunity, you know, but I know you talked a lot about hubs and, and we talk a lot about hubs. I actually have a question for you. What is your favorite hub? And you can't be biased here. Well, I'm not being biased, but my favorite hub is Microsoft 365 app. Uh, but that's because, you know, in this world of collaboration now, all of my tools are never in the same way that I leave them at night. Like I come back in the morning and they have so many updates, but the Microsoft 365 app really helps me catch up on my own work, see where I have left off. And it helps me like catch up on my day almost pretty instantly. So it's my favorite app. I, I wouldn't be able to live without it. <laughs> You're almost converting me there. You know, uh, we all have our favorites across the Microsoft 365 platform. Now, folks, this was exciting. You know, thanks, Pranati, for giving us this really, you know, informative insight into how all of us developers can quickly and easily make sure that our apps now become available to users across wherever they get their work done, whatever hub they choose. And more importantly, in, as you say, the next big thing at the Microsoft 365 app itself, where so much of the context uh, around which we work in is made available for us along with the tools that we love. Now, folks, if you're interested more in this, uh, please go to the link uh, in the description and in the video itself to learn more about this. But hopefully today you you found it informative enough to actually go and try out building these apps. Or if you already have an existing app, uh, enable these capabilities for your app so that your users are able to achieve more in whatever hub their choice is, and especially the new up-and-coming hub that Pranati just talked about, the Microsoft 365 app itself. Thank you very much. Go to the links in the description. Thank you. Thank you.